Hi everybody, this is Green Pencil 305 coming to you live once again from my bedroom. If you're wondering why I keep doing my videos in my bedroom, it's because I can't think of any other place to make my videos. But anyway, I, um, I'm here to talk about these new books that I bought over the weekend. They're Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. I'll show you. Um, here's the first one, the first Diary of a Wimpy Kid book right here. See? And uh, here's one called Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days. That? And here's one called Diary of a Wimpy Kid Roderick Rules. See? And here's one called Diary of a Wimpy Kid The Last Straw. You know, they have a movie called Diary of a Wimpy Kid, which is based on the book Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And you know most movies are you know based on books like uh, like Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, Harriet the Spy by Louise Fitzhugh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl, and A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. And you know I can think of one book that they haven't made into a movie, and that's Judy Moody by Megan McDonald. Are they going to turn that into a movie next? Who knows? I just felt like doing that. <laughs> but you know, I think it's kind of cool that they make movies based on books because we get to see our favorite book characters in action. You know, if you were to write a book and it got turned into a movie, who would you want to play the main character? I was thirsty. You know, I haven't really gotten into the experience of Diary of a Wimpy Kid yet because um, um, I haven't read all the books. I, in fact, I haven't even gotten I haven't even gotten started on the first book just yet. But um, I probably will, you know, whenever I get the chance. All I know is that um, it's about a, a kid named Greg who's trying to survive middle school, and. Um, and uh, he he has an older brother named Roderick who's kind of mean. You know, it's a good thing I don't have an older brother. And if and if I had any younger siblings, I wouldn't be mean to them like Roderick. Yeah, I'm I'm glad. I'm sideways. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is that um, I noticed that some of the comments on my classic Nickelodeon shows video um say that the the new Nickelodeon say that the they think that the new Nickelodeon shows suck. Well, let me tell you something. I don't think they suck. I don't think the new Nickelodeon shows suck. Yeah, and they say they prefer the old Nickelodeon. Well, so do I. But I'm not trying to do anything about it. I mean, you can just go ahead and write a letter to Nickelodeon and ask them for the for the old Nickelodeon shows back, but it's probably not going to work. I mean, one time I tried, I, one time I wrote a letter to the Nickelodeon magazine company asking them to, um, <clears throat> to make new, to make more new issues of Nickelodeon magazine, and, um, apparently it didn't work, probably because that by the time the letter got to the Nickelodeon magazine company, they already closed up. I was probably too late. Yeah. Oh yeah, and um, I'm still not giving up until Nick until they put Nickelodeon magazine back into production because without Nickelodeon magazine, how else are we supposed to get cool comics and pull out pranks, even the celeb page? I mean, or or some or the or the or some some of the posters like the ones I have on my walls yeah but you know it's it's been months since they um, canceled the production of Nickelodeon magazine so it it might be too late to do something about it now I mean even if you wrote a letter or something to the Nickelodeon magazine company 
and probably wouldn't get it because the the Nickelodeon magazine factory is all closed up. <clears throat> But, we can, well, hopefully we can, you know, at least, you know, try to do something about it, even though it might be too late. But I still don't think I should give up. And, uh, hopefully anyone who believes in Nickelodeon Magazine shouldn't give up either. Yeah. One, one can hope. One can hope that they can, you know, succeed in, in getting Nickelodeon magazine back. Okay, well, um, I should, you know, keep this video under ten minutes so I can post it on YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll just, um, I'll see you guys later and Hopefully I'll get some um, real supporters for my Nickelodeon Magazine Forever video. And I'm not saying that, um, that most of the people who commented on my Nickelodeon Magazine Forever video aren't real supporters, but maybe some supporters who, who, are, who, get, who are inspired by the video to do something about, about you know, Nickelodeon Magazine. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Hmm. Bye.